Hi, we are Leon and Magiel from No Man's Land Bushcraft and today we're gonna make a buck saw. Um, this one we made before from pine wood. It was a prototype and today we're gonna make a nicer one. Uh, this is a really nice type of saw. You can completely take it apart like this and it makes it easy to take it with you in your backpack. Here we made a space for the saw blade so you can fit that in as well. Um, it's a really nice saw and today we're gonna make a new one. Um, we're gonna use this wood. This is, an, uh, this is from an ash tree. Uh, we felled it and um, cut it uh, to pieces with this buck saw. And we uh, split it with only a knife. If you want to see how to do that, you can click here. Um, it's a bit of an old tree, you can see it has some woodworm in it, uh, so we uh, hope, hopefully it has some good uh, pieces in it to make a buck saw. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. First I'm going to take about 2 centimeters of the side to make a straight piece and um, uh, have something to work off. So that's what I'm going to do now. Yesterday we cut the wood to dimensions with a table saw, uh, we let it dry overnight and uh, now I'm going to clean it up with a hand plane and uh, get it nice and straight and see what kind of wood we're working with. So last time we used wooden connections for the buck saw, like this. And this time we wanted to try something else. So we're gonna make uh, metal pins and we use normal nails, cut off both ends and we will drill holes here and put in the nails so they will uh, keep it together. Okay, now we're gonna um drill some holes in the wood um, and saw uh, a slit in it so that we can uh, attach the saw blade like this. We're going to do this with a drill press. Okay, first we're gonna find the center of the wood for the slit for the saw. The wood is 2.3 millimeter, so we're gonna cut at 1.15. I'm gonna draw a little line. Okay. Try and keep it as straight as you can. Okay, we're gonna make this saw 21 centimeters deep. That means that we can cut wood of the dimension of 21 centimeter. So, um, 
this uh, piece of wood, which is gonna be our middle piece, is three centimeters wide. Uh, we want the holes for the nails uh, one and a half centimeter apart. So the first hole will be uh, uh, seven millimeters from this side. I'm going to fix this at seven millimeters. Put this on our 21 centimeter line and push this into the wood and I get the first hole where we uh, gonna use the drill press. The second hole will be uh, 1.5 centimeters from the first hole. So I'm gonna put this at 1.5. Put the first point in our first hole, the second point I'm going to push in the wood and now we have our two holes uh, to drill for the nails. Okay, now we're gonna make the layout for uh, the holes of the in the center piece. Uh, first, we're gonna make a center line. This uh, piece is 2.3 um, centimeters wide, so 1.5 is the center. And I'm going to scribe the line on the wood with a knife. So here we have the center line. Um, this part is three centimeters wide. So we're going to do the same. We're gonna take uh, seven millimeters from the side and then one and a half centimeters the holes apart. So first seven millimeters. is here and then 1.5 from the other hole is here we don't have drill press for um, such a long piece of wood so with the drill press I drill a hole in this piece of wood with this 90 degrees and I'm gonna use that as a guide for a hand drill to try and get this as straight as possible. Let's see if it fits.
Nice. Okay, now we're gonna check if we did everything right, if everything fits properly. So I'm going to put it together. First the sides. I'm going to put a saw blade in. With just a temporary screw. So, like this. The way a bow saw works is that we can tension the saw with the cord, so I'm going to do that now. This cord is a bit too long, but uh, I'm going to get a better cord when it's finished. Looks like it works. There's a little gap here. We're gonna need some work on that, but the rest is uh, great and sturdy. So now we're gonna finish, make it a uh, nice curves, and make it round so we can work with it and uh, should be finished almost. Okay, so the the brick saw is actually finished. We now we're now gonna um, make it round so that it's easy to uh, to handle and for that we'll use a simple hand plane to just uh, round the corners all right um, we are done sanding for now as you can see it's almost finished um, so the next step is adding some birch oil, so we are heading outside and making a campfire and we'll start to do that. Okay, this is birch oil. Um, if you want to know how to make it, you can click here. Um, this birch oil is not very liquid at room temperature, so first I'm going to heat it up and make it nice and soft and liquid, so it can um, penetrate the wood better and will make less uh, of a sticky finish. I'm going to put some coals over here and put the can on top of it to keep it hot while I'm working with it.
as you can see the oil is now very liquid and we can use it I will try to put a very thin layer on it Okay, now the uh, buck saw is covered in uh, birch oil. Um, I'm now going to heat it up with a torch to open up the wood to get the um, oil really runny so it uh, penetrates the wood. Uh, the excess then I will uh, wipe off with a cloth. You can also do this on a campfire or uh, you can hang it uh, for a few days in the bright sun um, to get the same effect. Keep the torch moving quickly to not burn the wood. You can see the uh, oil is boiling, here it's almost dry, here it was a little thick so there should be some excess oil. Now we'll wipe the excess of the oil off and the saw is nice and protected from the elements, it gets a nice sort of antique like color you can almost polish it with cloth any old cloth will do, this is an old t-shirt okay the buck saw is now finished because we used smaller dimensions of wood we could not fit the blade inside of the saw but uh, because it's much smaller, much lighter, um, I still think it's a better concept than our last saw. Uh, we will now put it together and see how it works. Let's get it nice and tight. Okay. Right, let's uh, give it a try. Alright, that uh, works really well. It's easy to use because it's so light. Um, yeah, it's nice. So if you like this video, hit like, 
if you want to see more of our videos hit subscribe and thank you for watching bye bye